So NASPA is doing well on the market today, shrugging off concerns about multi-choice. The Communications Minister, Mamaloko Kubai, says claims of corruption in the deal between multi-choice and ANN7 must be probed. This follows the leaked Gupta emails, which revealed uh, that multi-choice paid ANN7 an extra 25 million rand. The DA has also called on multi-choice to publicly release the full contracts it entered into with the Gupta-owned television station, as well as records of prior negotiations. The communications minister says government is concerned that there's corruption in the deal between Multi-Choice and ANN7. The DA has given Multi-Choice 48 hours to release the details of the contract uh, with ANN7. It says if it fails to do so, it will request that the Independent Communications Authority of South Africa, ICASA, force it to do so. It's claimed that Multi-Choice was also to triple its annual payment to ANN7 to 141 million rand. This after the former Minister of Communications, Faith Mutambe, allegedly pushed through laws that benefited Multi-Choice. The matter between Multi-Choice and ANN7 as a contractual um, matter between the two parties, as the department, I don't think we have a role to play unless if there was issues of violation of the policies. Where I have concern and what we are raising as the department as a concern is when you have lobby groups that are actually pushing and lobbying for a particular platform or a particular um, broadcasting house to re be removed from a platform. This, I think, it goes um, as contradicting and against what has been envisaged by our constitution our forebearers to say we shall have freedom of expression.